Hi friends and welcome to another video of Just Being Earnest. In today's video, I'm going to share how does Grab make money. The rationale for this video is due to Grab heading for a US 40 billion merger with a public listed shell company backed by LT Media Capital, making it the biggest ever deal with a blank check firm. The combined company expects its securities to be traded on NASDAQ under the symbol Grab in the coming months, said Grab in the press release. This is expected to be the largest ever US equity offering by a Southeast Asian company. Before I start, hope you can give a like for this video and also subscribe to my channel. And let's begin. Let's take a look at the Grab Investor presentation that was just released today. So this is a timeline of how Grab has evolved over the years based on the product expansion and based on country expansion. They started in 2020 in Malaysia with the launch of the Grab First service, which is Grab Taxi. And in 2014, they launched Grab Car, Grab Bike. 2015, they launched Grab Express. 2016, they launched Grab Share. 2017, they launched Grab Pay. 2018, they launched Grab Food, Grab Ads. 2019, they launched Grab Kitchen, Grab Mart, Grab Finance, Grab Insure. And in 2020, they launched Grab Invest and Grab Defense. For country expansion wise, they started in 2012, which is in Malaysia. Eventually, 2013, they moved to Singapore, Philippines, Thailand. 2014, they moved to Indonesia, Vietnam. And in 2017, it's Cambodia and Myanmar. So you can see based on the colors at the bottom, the products are split into deliveries, mobility, financial services, enterprise and others. So in this day of a person's life, they show how Grab, which is an everyday everything app, is deeply integrated into a consumer's life from ordering food to taking rides to paying for items to getting deliveries to getting groceries to paying bills to doing online shopping and also booking hotels. So in this, we have a screenshot of the Grab app which shows you the deliveries, express mobility, and also digital advertising, which allow companies and corporations to advertise to grab consumers. And on the right side, which is the paid wallet side, you have the financial services where you have a digital wallet and a grab pay card that is linked to your digital wallet. You also have the insurance, invest, loans, and you're also able to do remittance and do pay later, whereby you're able to purchase an item and pay a subsequent period through installment. For financial wise, based on the uh, Grab report, they have 12.5 billion GMV in 2020. The revenue is 1.6 billion in 2020. There are 1.9 billion transactions completed in 2020. They are the number one in the category for deliveries, mobility, and financial services based on GMV. They are in 400 plus cities in eight countries. They have 25 monthly transacting users, 5 million driver partners, and 2 million merchant partners and 2 million plus Grab kiosk agents. Over here, we can see that Grab is showing that Grab is in a situation where there's a lot of opportunities for them due to the fact that it's in Southeast Asia market where the penetration of technology is still at its early stage. So looking at the food delivery wise in Southeast Asia, food delivery is only at 11% compared to China and USA, which is at 21%. For mobility wise in Southeast Asia, it's only a 3% penetration compared to China at 15% and USA at 5%. And for digital financial services in Southeast Asia, only 17% of the transactions are electronic transactions and only 60% of the populations have banking services. If you look into China and USA, they are at a much higher percentage already. Grab is the category leader with growth and profitability at scale across the different segments. So for delivery wise, in 2020, they had 5.5 billion GMV. For mobility, they had 3.2 billion in GMV. And then for financial services, they had 8.9 billion in total payment volume. For growth wise, between 2018 to 2020 for deliveries, it grew in a compound annual growth rate of 203% for GMV. For 2020 to 2022, expected GMV growth rate for mobility is at 37%. And for financial services, the growth between 2018 to 2020 is at 102% total payment volume compound annual growth rate. So here we can see a map of Southeast Asia and Grab is the category leadership in Southeast Asia in terms of presence, scale and diversity. So for mobility, deliveries and financial services, Grab is taking the number one position. And for revenue wise, there's no country that's taking more than 35% of the adjusted net revenue. And because Grab have a diversified business model across eight countries, this helps to reduce the risk among the different segments that Grab is providing. So Grab has a highly synergistic ecosystem that is designed to maximize usage and lower cost of services. So because if there's more consumers on the platform, 
there'll be more merchant partners that come onto the platform because there are more consumers to sell the goods and services on Grab. And because there are more consumers on Grab as well, there will be more drivers and partners who are able to find consumers to use the delivery services. This will lead to more driver partners having higher earnings and also more merchant partners to have more income. And as a result, the consumers will be able to have more services and better ease of success. So this table shows the growth rate of a user that is on the Grab platform. So for a user that joined the Grab platform in 2016, they have been spending more and more each year between the day that they joined up to today. So between 2016 to 2017, the user that spent $1 in 2017, they will be spending $1.41 more. And between year one to year three, they will be spending $1.93 more. And in year four, they will be spending $2.75 more compared to year one. And in year five, they will be spending $3.63 more than year one. So looking at the most recent year, which is 2019 cohort, so in year one, they'll be spending $1 and in year two, which is 2020, they'll be spending $1.45 more. So this shows that the cohort GMV growth is still continuous in 2020 despite COVID impact. So for top line, the GMV for Grab is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 40% between 2020 to 2023. And for adjusted net revenue wise, is also expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 42% between 2020 to 2023. This is a table that shows the breakdown of the different financial services that Grab offer on the platform. So Singapore is the one that is the most complete, followed by Malaysia, Philippines, Indonesia, Thailand, and then Vietnam. So for the financial services that Grab provides, it's broken down into three different categories, which is payments, financial services, and digital bank. And these industries, Grab is looking to grow at a compound annual growth rate of roughly around 29% in terms of total payment volume and net revenue over a three-year period between 2020 to 2023. So what makes Grab interesting investment is that they have highlighted these six points, which is massive underpenetrated opportunity due to the fact it's in Southeast Asia where the population is huge, but yet it's still a lot more room to grow. And because he also has category leadership as skill in the various categories, which is mobility, deliveries, as well as digital financial services. And because he has a super app, so he's able to collect a lot more data and use this data to in a way results in better services and products for his users. And he also goes into a hyper-local approach whereby the services that is provided are mainly localized to adapt according to what the consumers want in the local countries. And he also has proprietary and differentiated technology, as well as world-class management and shareholders. And here's a video of Grab and how consumers are using it in Southeast Asia. And that's it for this video about Grab. Hope you learned something new about Grab and thank you for watching the video. Do give a like and subscribe to my channel. You can also let me know what other companies you like to look at and who knows I may do a video about it. Have a great day ahead and bye bye.